In a Miami neighborhood known for violence and poverty, single mother of three, Keandra Ross, faces difficult choices when paying the bills. You're always taking care of needs compared to taking care of wants. And light up inside the store. This year, the light bill is more important than presents under the tree. You want to be a parent to provide. You want your kids to feel equally as important as the next child. But sometimes you just, you don't meet those standards. You don't meet that bar. Ross is on the list to receive toys from Toys for Tots, if there's enough. You have your boys 8 to 10 and 11 plus, which are both empty. You don't see the bags on the floor. Um, so donations have kind of been slow start coming in by age and gender. This side is the girl side. There's a huge void. Toys for Tots usually gets 250,000 toys and $5 million from Toys R Us, but the retail giant ceased operations in June after filing for bankruptcy last year. If the donations are down, the agencies request the toys and we have to cut them because we don't have them. Inside a warehouse in Atlanta, fast forklifts beep and bikes fill boxes as volunteers stuff bags. But leading up to Christmas, this site was down a quarter million toys. The organization says they're having to shuffle donations and money across the country, and it's unclear if they'll meet the demand. I think it could be tough for them. Retail expert Kevin Mullaney says Toys R Us's absence this holiday season creates opportunity for smaller businesses, like this store in Connecticut, which expanded toy sales after Toys R Us went under. But charities like Toys for Tots have to adjust with the changing landscape, too. All they would have to do, reach out to more people. I think people want to give. You just have to make it easy for people to give. Toys for Tots says they're doing exactly that and seeing more donations come in from new places. The hope for Ross, that Christmas this year is worth remembering. There's a lot of families like mine that may just, Christmas is turn into another day. Just no celebration, just another day. The final toy count won't be known until after Christmas. Joshua Plogel, the Associated Press, Miami.